I am looking at a classroom iMac. This is a remote view of it, which lets me make a nice screencast. Um, and I just plugged it into the projector. So when I plugged it in, um, the Mac got tiny. The screen, suddenly everything is really big um, and it looks super awkward. Um, so um, the other thing that happened is actually because the screen got so small, the little monitor display items that used to show up up top have disappeared. So how to fix this. I'm going to go to settings and I'm going to go to displays just down here and here it says optimize for so right now it is scaling my screen to look good for the projector I'm just going to choose iMac instead of the projector and my remote view is actually going to get much bigger um, of course your literal screen in person won't actually grow but what will happen is that you'll get a much higher resolution screen and the Mac will look like it looked before um, with all the sort of menus being the right size. Now, once again, I can actually see the settings here, mirror iMac, mirror Epson, um, or use a separate display. All right, and those are my options that are also here in the display settings. Um, so that is how you fix the resolution. Most of the time, I think you will want it with this resolution. Just remember that there are fewer pixels on the projector. So even though the image is bigger, it's not nearly as sharp as the screen. So for example, where it says Mac OS in the upper right hand corner, your students won't be able to read that. But if what you do is present a slideshow, your students will read that slideshow or that video just fine because those letters are much bigger than they need to be. But anything small like that URL is not going to be readable. Um, if you want to know kind of what's readable, then you would want to go back and I think let's try this out. If we go ahead and say mirror Epson PJ, it then shrinks it to be the size of the Epson. And now your students actually can read the menu items and all those things. So if you cared about the students reading the actual computer interface, you would want to be in mirroring projector mode. But it's such a low resolution that um, some Mac applications like iMovie or GarageBand won't even run um, with the resolution set that low. And once the resolution shrinks, actually, your ability to magically, um, oops, go away, Siri, uh, get to the stuff you want also goes away. So that nice little bar goes away, and you've actually got to go to the settings. Let me just show you one other thing. If you type command spacebar, oh, that won't work because I'm on remote. Command spacebar would bring up the spotlight search, same as that little guy. And then you could type displays, and it will bring you right to the display settings. So go ahead and click on displays. And here it is under displays. We're going to say optimize for iMac and everything's going to get nice.